who's the man with the gigantic penis? Everyone knows it's Vivo. Blah, blah. <laughs> okay, seriously though. I said I was going to do more UU commentaries for you guys, and um, guess what? I've got a UU commentary against Uber DT. Now, this match was pretty interesting because I have Muck in my team, and Muck actually does some work this game. Not as much as Rem did in the last video, but still, he did some work. You know how it goes. Um, anyways, let's just go ahead to the team preview. Alright, so this is my UU Trick Room team. It's basically the same as my OU one, except there are a few Pokemon changed around. Uh, Rayuniclus has been replaced with Slowbro, and... You see, Empoleon has been replaced with Mawile, and Escavalier has been replaced with Muck. See, there's Muck right there. Hello! Okay. Now, the thing with this team is that all of my Trick Roomers are special attackers, whereas all of my Trick Room sweepers are physical ones. So, I'm going to need to divide my resources up carefully to hit any threats that are um, strong in physical or special defense. Like, Hitmontop over there is probably going to be strong in special defense, so I'm going to have to um, be wary of sending in special attackers to deal with him. Slowbro, I see, is being a physically defensive wall, so I'm probably going to need stuff like um, Cofagrius or Porygon 2 in order to deal with him. Chandelure is somewhat of a threat because of his high special attack and stuff, and Ambipom has priority, so I'm going to need to deal with him effectively. Now with that said, let's start the battle. Alright, so he's going to lead off with this stupid pink monkey thing, and I'm going to lead off with FABULOUS! Because I predicted that he would lead off with this stupid monkey thing. So he goes for U-turn, the pussy, and switches out into Crobat. Now I set up that trick room first turn, because I'm going to need that if I want to sweep his team. I go for Shadow Ball on Crobat, it does quite a bit. But Crobat has Roost, so... Yeah, he'll just be able to Roost that off. So anyways, I go for another Shadow Ball. That knocks him down into the yellow zone, at least. But he goes for Toxic, and I'm like, damn it. I didn't even think Crobat would carry Toxic. I thought usually they'd do it with something else. But whatever. He switches out to Porygon 2 to take the Shadow Ball. Which it does because Porygon 2 is normal type, and normal type does not take Shadow Balls from anybody. So yeah. I go for Hidden Power Fighting now. It does not nearly as much as I would have hoped. So, yeah. And Discharge does a fuck ton to me, so... Yeah, I'm figuring, okay, there's not much left I can do with this Cafagrius. So I'm just going to let him die, and... Hopefully score some damage on this Porygon too, but he goes for a cover. So I'm like, fuck. Yeah. So I go for Hidden Power Fighting on the next turn. That gets his health back down. He goes for Ice Beam to finish me off, and that is the end of Cafagrius. So now I send out the Great Mighty Poo, or Muck, to take on this Porygon 2, and I go for the gun shot, it misses, so that really sucks. I go for Payback on the next turn, that isn't enough to kill, and so Crobat just um, gets his health back. Yeah, yeah. So that really sucks. Anyways, I go for a Curse, I think? Yeah, I go for Curse to get my attack and defense up. Lower my speed so I'll be faster and trick room. And he goes for Roost again. So now Trick Room ends, and he goes for Taunt, probably anticipating Curse, but I go for the Gunk Shot, bitch. That does a lot to Crobat. So basically, he goes for Brave Bird, trying to damage me. 
And I'm thinking, alright, if this nut, if this next gunk shot hits, it's gonna kill, so I might as well go for it. And I do go for it, and it does kill, so yeah, yeah. Gunk shot is 70% accurate, so it's kind of risky, but it's really powerful, so... It's probably the most powerful poison type attack. So I switch out into Slowbro to take this fake out, because I don't really want Muck taking it. And he goes for return. And I go for Trick Room, you know, like a Trick Room team is supposed to. And I switch out into Marowak, because Marowak is probably the strongest Pokemon on my team. Because of uh, Thick Club, which doubles his attack and allows me to switch in between my moves. So I go for Double Edge on the Swampert. As he goes for Stealth Rock, probably trying to punish switchings. He switches out to Chandelure, trying to preserve his Swampert and thinking I go for Double Edge, but I anticipate that and go for Bone Murray. So that takes him out in a single hit. He brings out Ambipom. I know the fake out's coming, but there's not much I can do, so I just let Marowak take the fake out. So now Trick Room's over, and I switch out into Porygon 2 to set up Trick Room again. He goes for Low Sweep, probably anticipating that. So he goes for the U-turn on the next turn, and switches out into Swampert. Now I set up that Trick Room, and I'm not sure why he went switched up the Swampert here, but whatever the case, I start going for a cover over and over again as he goes for Waterfall trying to kill me. Now I've already lost a Trick Roomer, so I'm hesitant to lose another, so I just keep recovering. And let's just fast forward to this part. Yeah, my Porygon 2 is dead, so I was just like, fuck it. And I decided to switch out into the Great Mighty Poo. So yeah, that Gunk Shot did a lot. Basically took out Swampert even though it resisted. That's the great thing about Gunk Shot. It's so freaking powerful. So Ammopon comes out here and I'm like, fuck, I don't want this thing in the way of a fake out. So I go into Mawile to take that fake out. He takes it very well. He switches out the Hitmontop here, and Intimidate is going to lower my attack, and Iron Head is not going to do as much here. So yeah. Trick Room's over again, so I need to switch out into my last Trick Roomer, Slowbro, in order to um, get that Trick Room back up, because that's what needs to happen for a Trick Room team in order to function. He goes for Close Combat, does like nothing to me at all, and his defenses get lower. So, yeah, he's probably not going to risk it again and go for a counterattack and risk a counterattack from Slowbro. So he switches out to Porygon 2. So now Derpy Dude, the Slowbro, sets up Trick Room. I switch out of there into Marowak again because he's my most powerful attacker and he'll be able to deal with this Porygon 2. Plus I anticipate the Discharge, which does happen. So I go for the Bone Meringue. Does quite a bit to Porygon 2. As he goes for Ice Beam and takes out my boner. So I switch out into the Great Mighty Poo. As he switches out to Ambipom for some reason, I nail Ambipom with the gunk shot and kill him. So yeah. The Great Mighty Poo goes down after killing three Pokemon, so yeah. Muck did some work this match. Muck did work, I tell ya. So now I go into Mawile. And for some reason, he doesn't switch out here. Instead, he lets his Porygon 2 die, and I'm not entirely sure why. But whatever. He switches out to Hitmontop, gets that Intimidate. I back off into Slowbro. So yeah, the game's pretty much over. He just goes for Stone Edge. 
does not do anything to me at all because I am a Slowbro and Slowbro can tank physical hits all day. And yeah. So I set up Trick Room on the next turn. That is not going to. Um... Well, it does help, but it's like. Um... I'm not sure if it was necessary. So he's just straggling on for a bit. It's like, dude, you lost. Get over it. So yeah, I go for a Psy Shock. That is going to finish him off. So yeah, that was it. Good game, Uber DT. I will see you next time, guys. I am the great mighty poo and I'm going to throw my shit at you. A huge supply of tish comes from my chocolate starfish. How about some scat, you little twat?